We're about three months away from the NBA trade deadline, but trade rumors are already circulating around the New York Knicks. You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. In today's video, we're going to react to an article that Bleacher Report put out there. They talked about three players that the New York Knicks are going to be linked and have been linked to leading up to the NBA trade deadline. Two of them are familiar faces, but there's one guy that we're going to spend some extra time on talking about on today's video that I really do. I think it's an interesting idea, and I'm a big fan of the player. Let's start, though, with OG Ananobi. Look, OG Ananobi is a guy that's been linked to the Knicks time and time again. But I think we should just set the stage with this. Did, did, did everyone forget the Knicks are suing the Toronto Raptors? In what world are the Toronto Raptors, led by Masai Ujiri, who doesn't like Dolan? James Dolan and Masai Ujiri don't like each other. So one, they don't like each other. Two, the Knicks are suing them. In what world would Masai Ujiri send OG and Obi to the Knicks when he doesn't like James Dolan and his team that he's the president of basketball operations for is being sued by the Knicks? Look, I don't see this one happening. At one point, I was all in on trading for OG and Obi. And I think when you strictly talk X's and O's, when you talk about basketball fit and what OG does well, you know he's an elite defender. We've showed you the stats a million times. Plays the passing lanes better than anybody else. He's an elite three-point shooter when he's slotted in the corners. He's a great basketball player. And I do think if you take out all the outside noise, the Ujiri and Dolan and the suing, it would be a great fit. You could have a starting lineup of Jalen Brunson, R.J. Barrett, OG and OB, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson. But it comes back to, I just don't see it happening. I don't see how the Raptors and Knicks could make a deal as they're pretty much about to go to court. Doesn't make much sense to me. Another trade target that Bleacher Report mentioned. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look who it is. Donovan Mitchell. I spent enough time on this channel talking about Donovan Mitchell to where I don't need to do it for another lifetime. But I do think the Knicks are interested in him. I do think the Knicks will pursue him over the next two years. But this is an offseason move, if at all. If the New York Knicks are going to trade for Donovan Mitchell, it will not be this season. It will be in the offseason. The Cavs traded him for traded for him for a reason. They want to try to make a push to get to the top of the Eastern Conference. And there's no way that after just a year and, what, 15 games, that they're going to move off Mitchell, even though he's probably hinted 100 times that he's not going to re-sign, didn't sign the contract extension before the season, and his future may be short-lived with the Cleveland Cavaliers. If the Cavs aren't trading him in season, they would definitely not do it to the Knicks. If the Knicks ever are to acquire Donovan Mitchell, I believe it would be in the offseason. I don't see it happening as an in-season trade. But let's say both these trades are on the table. And Bleacher Report, maybe they're right. And they are two guys that the Knicks are going to be interested in. So I'll ask you, if you could only trade for one of these two players, who would you rather see wearing the orange and the blue? Is it OG and Anobi? Is it Donovan Mitchell? Type OG, type DM. I'm curious what you guys think. Coming up next. The third player that Bleacher Report listed as a potential Knicks trade target was a very interesting one. I would go as far as to say he is an elite, elite 3 and D player. Great defender, and he's shown the ability throughout his career to be able to knock down the three. Interesting trade target. We'll talk about that coming up in a second. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to this link, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use a promo code CLNS. And prize picks will match your initial deposit up to $100. Yo, Marsh, what's prize picks? <laughs> Glad you asked. It's the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. It is daily fantasy made easy. So easy, even Roly could do it. All you do is create a lineup and select more or less on the projected stat line. This is the prize picks lineup that I'm going to be rolling with for this slate of Sunday NFL games. I'm going with less passing yards for Aiden O'Connell. I'm going with more passing yards for C.J. Stroud. If you're not a football guy and you're a hoop head, you're in store because they all you're in luck. They also do college basketball and NBA, and you can cross your lineups on sports. You can have NBA picks. You can have college football picks as well as NFL picks on the same lineup. It's the easiest way, and in my opinion, the most fun way to play daily fantasy. Get started today by going to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. All righty. The player that Bleacher Report linked to the New York Knicks. What about Dorian Finney-Smith? The 3 and D player 
that played alongside Luka Doncic with the Dallas Mavericks and then was traded in the Kyrie Irving trade to the Brooklyn Nets. He was the main piece in that Kyrie Irving trade. And he's a damn good player. And he's having a damn good season. I'm a big fan of the guy for a couple of reasons. He plays like it's the 1990s. He would have fit perfectly on the junkyard dog Knicks. This year, averaging 11 points and shooting 45% from three. 6'7", 220. If there's one thing the New York Knicks lack outside of a star, they lack a true wing defender. We saw it when they played the Celtics a couple days ago. They didn't have an answer for Jason Tatum. And I'm not saying Dorian Finney-Smith is the guy that's going to have Tatum walking in cuffs. But he'd be the best wing defender the Knicks have, and they give him true size and length. He is an elite defender. I was talking with my guy, Jeffrey Cooperstein, co-host of Dallas Mavericks today. He told me that Dorian Finney-Smith is an A overall defender. Loved seeing him play with the Dallas Mavericks. And he pretty much said the Mavericks have not found a replacement since they traded Dodo to the Brooklyn Nets. This is what Bleacher Report said on the idea. Quote, if the Knicks want to add an impact 3 and D wing, but don't want to pay what it would cost to get Ananobi, then Dorian Finney-Smith looms as a rock-solid alternative. The 6'7 swingman has long ranked among the league's most versatile stoppers. He's strong enough to bang with bigs, yikes, quick enough to chase around guards, and long enough to pester big wing scorers. This front court could silence a lot of the top NBA scoring threats if he joined all defensive caliber center, center Mitchell Robinson. Look at Bleacher Report saying something smart. Potential all-NBA defender Mitchell Robinson? Shout out to them. That's big stuff right there. Dorian Finney-Smith is the definition of a Tom Thibodeau guy. I'm curious why Seeps put the bulls red here for Tom Thibodeau guy. Um, not a fan of that one, Seeps. It's orange because Tom Thibodeau is always going to be remembered as a coach of the New York Knicks once he gets uh, adds the Larry he'll be to the trophy case. But seriously, when you talk about Tom Thibodeau going into a lab to create a wing to play on his basketball team, it's Dorian Finney-Smith. He would be this version of Lou Deng. Deng's obviously a better scorer, but the same type of player. You could have a lineup. Brunson, R.J. Barrett, Dorian Finney-Smith, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson. That's a lot of stops, and that gives you a true small forward. And it's a guy that you could move R.J. Barrett to the shooting guard position for, which Scott Perry thinks the Knicks should do. I'll ask you this question, and I'll give my opinion in a second. Should the Knicks trade for Dodo? Dorian Finney-Smith, elite nickname as well, the Dodo bird. Type T for trade, type P for pass. I want to hear from you. So a couple of my thoughts that came to a couple of thoughts that came to my head as I read this article. Where is he getting minutes? Is he going to slot in as a small, starting small forward? If so, that's fine. But then my next question would be, what are the Knicks giving up? Are you trading Emmanuel quickly? Hell no. Are you trading Quentin Grimes? Maybe. Be a far fall from a guy you didn't want to include in a Donovan Mitchell trade to give him up for Dorian Finney Smith. You can't trade Josh Hart. You can't trade Dante DiVincenzo. You're not trading R.J. Barrett. You're not trading Julius Randle. And I think it's important to remember that after the Dallas Mavericks traded Dorian Finney-Smith to the New Jersey Nets, I know, Brooklyn Nets, still fun to call him that, though. When he was traded there, there was a team that offered the New Jersey Nets, Brooklyn Nets, I said it twice now, Brooklyn Nets, two first-round picks for Dorian Finney-Smith. And he said no. And I'll tell you this much. I'm not trading multiple first-round picks for another role player. You already traded a first-round pick for Josh Hart. Hasn't been playing that well this year, man enough to admit it. A little upsetting, but I think that Josh Hart will turn it around. The Knicks don't need any more role players. They need needle pushers. They need needle swayers. They need needle movers. As much as I like Dodo, as much as I respect his grind and his climb to, honestly, elite 3 and D status in this league, I don't see the fit. I don't see the minutes. And I don't think I would agree with what Brooklyn would want to get back for him. The Knicks need a star. Dodo's not a star. But I would, I think it'd be a cool idea. I had fun talking about it. Don't think it's going to happen, though. Appreciate everybody for tuning in, as always. If you haven't yet, give me a follow on Twitter. Enjoy your Thanksgiving weekend, and we'll see you later. Let's go, Knicks.